Morning children, welcome to this morning's phonics lesson for Mrs Pelosi's group. Hope you're all well. So we're going to start with our retrieval practice, remember, to move these spellings that we've learned this week into our long-term memories. So you've learned some different rules this week. So I hope you've got your pens and paper ready or a whiteboard and pen. So the first word I'd like you to have a go at spelling that you've learned this week is brave. Your turn, say it. And now sound it out and segment it to spell br -a -v. I can hear a split digraph there. Now have a go. See if you can remember how to, sp how to spell that word. Next word I'd like you to have a go at is save. So remember this is the adding when um, words end in V-E, V-E always go together. When you hear the V sound at the end of a word, it's never a V on its own, it's always a V and an E. So this is one of our spelling rules we've learnt. So sound it out, segment to spell S, A, V, save. Next word, which follows the same rule, is cave, your turn. Segment it to spell K, A, V, cave. Remember that spelling rule at the end for the V sound. And I can hear a split digraph because there's a letter in the middle splitting them up. So segmenting to spell, is, remember you've got to listen to the sounds you can hear and think of the graphemes that you need to write, the letters that represent those sounds that helps you to spell. And the last one is one of our um, common exception words from the year two list and that's people. Your turn. And that's not one we can really sound out, but I did teach you a little rhyme. See if you can remember it and have a go at writing people. Super. Now, for our lesson today, our rule is all about adding the suffix ing to the end of words so that's what we're learning about today adding the suffix ing so ing to the end of words and there is a rule for this which i'm going to teach you and it's quite a simple rule so when words verbs so action words doing words are in the present tense they are spelt like this so, for example, if I wanted to write help and then I might want to write say and then I'm going to write walk and then I'm going to write cry. So these are actions or verbs all in the present tense. Help, say, walk, cry. So they're command words, bossy verbs. But if I want to change it into helping or saying or walking or crying, I'm turning it into a verb called the present continuous. That means I'm doing it now and it's going on in a continuous motion. So if I said I'm helping Mrs Hurst with some jobs, all you do is add ing. So add ing on and you've changed help into helping. The word say, I am saying help to Mrs Hurst. So you just add ing and together it becomes, it's changed from just the present tense to the present continuous. Now we've got saying, same with walk, add ing, add them together and you get walking. So what do you think I need to do to this verb cry? That's right. I just add ing. So add ing and we get crying. The baby was crying because he was hungry. So that's the rule for most words. Most words in the present tense just have ing added to the end to change it from the present tense to the present continuous. However, there are two exceptions to this rule. So, if a word, if a verb ends in E, like write or smile or come 
or love. So remember, this rule only applies when a present tense verb ends in an E. We have to drop the E and then add ING and we've turned it into the present continuous. So have a go with me. How do I change smile into smiling? That's right. Drop the E, add ING and it changes to smiling. So what do I need to do to come? That's right, drop the E and add I-N-G, and I've got coming. Last one, what do I need to do to love? That's right, drop the E, add I-N-G, loving. And there's one more rule to learn about for present tense verbs, which I'll do on this side. And that is when you have short vowel sounds wor words. So short words like verbs with a consonant, a vowel and a consonant when they're really short and there's a vowel before the consonant at the end. So let me show you an example. So if I write shop and run and hop and tap. So I've now got shop, run, hop and tap. If you notice, these words all have a vowel. So remember our vowels are A, E, I, O, U. They all have a vowel in the middle and they've got a consonant next to it at the end. So we call these short vowel sounds or these are CVC words, which you would have learned in reception. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So when we've got short CVC words, we've got a vowel and a consonant together. The rule means before you add ing, you've got to double the consonant. So if we look at P, I need to double the consonant. So I need to add another P and then ing. So shop becomes shopping. So we've changed it from present tense to present continuous. Run. What do I need to do? Which other letter do I need to add on again? That's right, the letter N. Double the consonant, add ing. Look at hop. How do I change hop to hopping? What's our spelling rule? That's right, double the consonant, add I-N-G. Hopping. Last one, tap. What do I need to do to change it to an ing word? That's right, double the consonant and add I-N-G. G. So tap has now changed to tapping. So I hope you've remembered those rules and I hope you found that helpful. I'm going to dictate a sentence to you in a minute for you to have a go at writing so you can have a go at these spelling rules. But before you do this activity, I've put a PowerPoint on the school website and in today's timetable that explains all of these rules again. And you can also watch this lesson back again if you get stuck. But go through the PowerPoint with your grown-up because it explains this a bit more. And then have a go at writing this sentence and see if you can apply the rules that I've just taught you to this sentence. Ready? Remember, capital letters at the start, finger spaces in the middle, full stops at the end. First word, I. Oh, it's a tricky word that you all know how to spell. Finger space. Next word, like. Your turn, say it. Segment to spell, l, i, k, like. I can hear three sounds and I can hear a split diagraph. Finger space, running. Sound it out. That's a longer word, so segment it. Run, ning, running. Remember the spelling rule, run is a CVC word. So how do we turn run into running? Finger space. Next word, waving. If you th now you have to think. If you write wave on its own, and I can hear that v sound, so link it back to yesterday's learning. Which letter is at the end of wave? So think about how you're going to change wave into waving. Finger space and you all know how to spell common exception word and last word walking. Your turn. Segment it to spell walk, ing. Now remember the rule, walk and ing. Does anything need to be added or dropped or do you just simply add ing?
So I hope you've had a good learning today and we shall look forward to seeing your sentences uploaded onto Seesaw. See you soon. Bye.